Hey everyone, welcome to the live. How are we tonight? I am on a little bit early. I'm trying two angles. I thought I could go the other way, but I guess since it's on YouTube too, it should be in the 169, like the longer format. So I didn't know how well you guys could see it this way. So I'm using my laptop to show you more detail where I can, and then the further away view. So you could actually see my face. Cause I know you guys come here to see my face all the time. So you're welcome. Tina, you deserve to still be on the back porch relaxing girl. I'm in, I wear these all day. I found these you guys. Yeah. You guys are welcome. I don't know if you guys know this. Hi, my name is Sammy and I am super classy <laughs> with a K. Um, but I found these bad boys at Salvation Army for six bucks and they're Nike and they even spark. And you bet your booty I wear them like, you know, their, their pants. I mean, it's athleisure wear, right? It's like, it's clothes. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm wearing. And then I wore my sweater because it had cheetah. And I was like, I'm one of those people that I'm like, oh, cheetah and cheetah, it matches. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Rhonda. And if I look down, it's because I'm looking at the laptop, you guys. Hi, April. Thank you, guys. If you're coming out on Facebook, if you can heart it and share it, I would so appreciate it. If you are on YouTube, it really helps if you comment on the video, not in the chat, but like actually in like on the video. So if you guys can do that, that would help a lot. Okay, it sucks because it's pointed down. Oh, wait, I could see. Hi, Jen and Tiffany. We got Connie, Lola. We got a little bit of everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I already got some orders. So thank you so very much for that. I packaged up paint orders in between doing the haul and then going live. So um, let me turn on this light and see if it helps with the, the lighting down here. It's horrible. Maybe that might just help a little smidge. Yeah, like a smidge. Hello, Beth. Hi, Jessica. Thank you for sharing, April, our sprinkling, however we're supposed to say it. Brenda, Kendra's on too. So I thrifted this. It was $8.99. And I recently did a video where I just call it the drip drop technique because I don't think it's really called anything. But I got it from the painted photographer. She's on YouTube. And she has a Facebook as well. So check her out. And hi, Diane. Hello, everybody coming in. Sorry if I miss you as I'm jabbering away. Um, but I did do a video on this on the my, my tube channel, you know. And um, I thought this would look so sexy with that. But we are going to do something a little different. Thank you for sharing, Brenda. Hi, Mary. Um so we're going to do a little something. I'm going to change up like the color scheme. Last time we did bohemian blue and a white and then just clear wax. This time we're going to go a little different here. So <laughs> I was, Dawn said, I was first and I'm still late. <laughs> All right. What time is it? All right. It's now nine o'clock. So I'm just going to get right into our piece here. I always start from the bottom and then go to the top. Does anybody else do that with candlesticks? But it could be just me. I have an obsession. See, I keep wanting to go that way. I'll try and stay. Maybe it's because all my supplies are like right here. Okay, so I'm going to start off with black velvet. And black velvet is going to be the like almost like a charcoal gray almost. It's going to have a gray. It's not your true black. Your true black is going to be little black dress. So keep that in mind when you're ordering. I do have, do I have? I do have black velvet in stock right now. Hi, Natty. Thank you for sharing, Tina. Hey, Lester. It's Diana, not Lester. Okay, hi, Diana. All right, so I'm gonna use the little dipper brush. I am sold out of these right now and we are leaving to Cali soon. So I didn't want to order them and they get delivered and me not be here. So when I get back, I will be reordering these and I have, I'm going to snag it. One of the perfectionists left. You guys are going to see this in Saturday's video, that brush 
is literally the bomb.com. Okay. Um, you are awesome, Kathy. Thank you for having YouTube and Facebook going. So with this, I shellacked it. So I did the spray shellac. I didn't use my salvation solution because there's so many details in this thing. It was 10 times easier just to go in with the shellac. And shellac is a stain blocker. And I knew it was going to either give me tannins or oils or something because there was a tag on top. And when I took it off and wiped it, it was coming off orange. So I knew right away it was going to give me issues. So I am going to go ahead and um, paint it now. It's dry. It gives it kind of like a, a sheen look to it, but don't worry about it. Hello, Erin. So Lady Poe is Erin, you guys, if you guys are like, what? who is she talking to? Um, this is a live. So just keep in mind, I am on Facebook and I'm on YouTube. So you guys won't see each other's comments on the different forums. So just keep that in mind. I tried cleaning this baby as best as I could, but I mean, there were so many nooks and crannies in here. But you guys, these brushes are so <laughs> soft. They get into everything. I love them so much. I keep wanting to look on my computer for comments, but it's like bent down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Do you guys need that? Do you guys like the close up view? This one right here? Or can I just switch to the one view? You guys tell me. I really did not have to redip that at all. <laughs> I guess just have it. They hold a lot of paint to these brushes. What does it say? Let me know, you guys. Do you guys like the close up view or can I just switch it to the regular? I like the close up. Love the different views. I like the close up. Okay, cool. Then I will leave it. It'll probably come in handy as we get more into the other steps here. And I'm not like, I don't need every single piece like of this covered just because we want it to look super distressed and aged. So it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna cry over it if I miss spots. I might even distress this down to bring some of this like weird gold stuff out. I don't know. <laughs> my old eyes like close up like 15 or more candlesticks I thrifted last month that I need to get started painting that one though. So amazing. Thanks Rhonda. I could literally do, I need to probably make it a goal to do one set of candlesticks every DIY video. That's how many I have. If they're a good price, I'm taking them home. I mean, they're great sellers on their own, and they're even better sellers when I can actually give them new life. So I will always grab them. And if you guys use a little bit of your paint at time, I would highly suggest not doing what I'm doing and double dipping in your paints. Um, they are, they only have nine ingredients. They're clay based. Um, so you don't want to really be mixing, you know, paint brushes and like how I'm putting shellac and then dipping it back in here. But I use my paints so fast that I don't ever usually have an issue with it. So I'm just telling you, just, just be safe. Okay. It is girl. Okay. So I casted YouTube to the TV and opened this. You're amazing, Dawn. Thank you. I just packaged up your order, by the way. Yeah, this is a mighty big piece. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. I like her. I like him curvy like me. What is your, do you guys have a favorite thing you can like paint over and over and over again? Hi, Liz. And I completely, I, well, I'm, I'm like getting notifications and it said complete and I said completely. I apologize if I'm missing people as they come in. I mean, if I could do this blindfolded, I would. No, but then I wouldn't be able to read the, you guys, I'm a mess. It's late, okay? I don't know what I'm talking about. 
I was trying to say, what is one piece or like, is it furniture? Is it candlesticks? Is it um, uh, little critters? Like what is one thing that you love to paint and you'll pick it up every time you see it? Thank you so much, Erin, for sharing the Buy Me A Coffee. You guys, because of you and the Buy Me A Coffees and the stars that you guys have been sending, we are able to use that money to go towards um, our Rover bill. So thank you so, so very much. That helped us a lot. And um, it was a huge expense. So it we appreciate it very, very much. More than you guys will ever know. Um, it definitely was not a planned trip. So, um, yeah, we, we appreciate it very much. All right. <laughs> I like how I say, I don't care if it like, if there's some spots that aren't covering and then I go back and I'm like, Oh, I want to cover it all furniture. Anyone want to get rid of just like five spindles, smaller, maybe a 12 inch. I want to take and make my grandkids and unless I go buy new, can't find ones used. <sighs> I wish there was a site. I'm sure there probably is somewhere out there, but just for like salvaged pieces, you know? Thank you, Mary, so very much for the super sticker. I appreciate it so much. So, so much. Thank you. I am. You could see like this brush just is so smooth. All the bristles on any of the brushes, the DIY brushes are like crazy soft. You guys saw me. I like to pet my face with them, you know, weird, weird girl stuff. I just appreciate that you guys accept me for me. And if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I'm weird. All right, so we almost got this covered, and I'm I'm almost positive I'm only going to do one coat, but I guess I have to see how it dries down. I've never used black velvet. I've done, like, a, a sample to see, like, what it looks like compared to the black velvet, but I've never used it on a piece. So we're both going to be fine. We're all going to find out for the same time. Oh, Alias is trying to make you jealous over here, Denise. She's like, oh, I live in a... Cotton Mill Town, so spindles in all the stores. Hey, CJ, how are you? Sandy could flip furniture. See, I need, um, I have some pieces at the booth that I need to flip. One of them, unfortunately, is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful antique vanity. Um, and I tried to put it in there. It what We actually brought it all the way from California. And it was in my daughter's room for a while. And then, you know, her getting older, she didn't want it anymore. So um, we put it in the booth and unfortunately nobody has wanted to purchase it as it sits. So I think to keep like a lot of the integrity, I'm going to paint the, the fronts of the drawers and then the little drawers up on the vanity and then um, stamp the sides of the drawers. And that way it's like, I still get to keep that beautiful wood, but maybe it will modernize it for, for somebody, you know? Hi, Dixie. How are you? What was that? Sorry. I'm going to look. Is the prom queen a powder blue and skeleton key is a medium smoke blue? Um, if you're familiar, Terry, with the um, like Waverly or folk art colors, I would say skeleton key is almost like Nantucket blue. So it's a grayish blue. Hold on one second. Let me get um, prom queen for you. And yes, prom queen is a powdery blue. So that's the, that's what they look like. Prom queen's on top. Skeleton key is on the bottom. It's like a grayish, grayish, topiish blue. I don't know. It's gorgeous though. Yeah, let's not waste that paint in the lid. Hello. Hello. All right. We got we to get under here. I'm trying to do this without having to flip over the 
candle. I think candlesticks are something that I can paint over and over again because I feel like there's many ways of making them look different. Like I have some on Saturday's video that are going to look completely different than this one. I farmed house the crap out of them. So one of you guys are going to like them. <sighs> Thanks, Denise. Hey, Jesse. All right, Terry. And just so you know, if anybody makes an order from next Wednesday to the following Wednesday, um, just give me some time. I'll be in California, but right when we get home, I will package orders. Um, I will be restocked on colors, hopefully Monday night, okay? They said that shipment was supposed to get here on the 15th, so I will restock, but I most likely will not get it out to you until we get back from California, so please keep that in mind. Yes, uh, prom queen is a beautiful color. I always forget I get the YouTube notification, then move over to Facebook. This piece has so much beautiful. It does. And I seriously could not believe I'm like missing a lot of pieces here. It was $8.99 <laughs> because you can buy a small candlestick at Savers for $8.99. So when I saw this big thing, I'm like, mm, yes, you're coming home. So again, I don't mind if that like bronze, I don't know what color that was is still showing. Don't mind that. All right. I think that's good. I'm going to get, you can feel like how much these brushes hold paint because of how heavy they get. Um, let me click that off as like you use them. If you get white wax, trust me, don't slam the brush down in it. I treated it like my old wax and man, the DIY wax goes a, a way, way far, farther and a hundred times better. Now I have to control myself. <laughs> Hi, Maureen. Ain't that the truth, girl? It's like buttery soft. Like it moves, especially it's too, if you have the clear down first, that could go forever. Hi, Melinda. So I'm going to, I forgot my um, heat gun. So let me get my water. And my heat gun. And I would put this on my Lazy Susan, but this thing is like ginormous. All right. Does anyone have plans for Mother's Day? Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to try and heat this up. So I'm going to read comments and chat with you guys. I had to find more stuff to put it on. That's how I felt when I first got it. I think that's how you feel anytime you get something new. Because, like, the gold wax, oh, my gosh. When I got that gold wax, and it was during Christmas time, I think I put that on every DIY project I did. I have some candle holders that are made of something heavy, but they look like a very shiny ceramic or something. think your paints would cover them and be safe to be used for an outdoor table. So, Sanja, the, it will be fine, but anytime you have something that's like a glossy finish, you want to apply something like a clear matte by rust -Oleum because you want it, the paint to adhere to something. And when you have a slick surface, it makes it very hard no matter what paint you use. So, I always recommend if you're working with a slick surface to prime it with something. You could even use like salvation solution, but spraying is way easier. And then outdoor use, outdoor use all depends on what clear coat you put. It has nothing to do with your paint. So you just need to make sure that you have an outdoor clear. So like a spar, um, like a water-based spar urethane, you're going to have to put quite a few um, uh, coats on it, but it should hopefully protect it. Oh, you guys are, you guys are going fast. I'm going to have to come over here. Um, Elizabeth, I get restocked on Monday, but like I was telling everybody else, we are needing to go to California. So if you purchase something, I won't be shipping it out until the following Wednesday or 
Thursday or Friday, because I still have to pack and put the orders up, obviously. But I bought a miniature soul like the one you flipped last week. The only difference is I have just one heart on the backrest, and I want to get salt wash with ooh, that'll be pretty with prom queen. Doing a craft sale with my mom. That sounds so much fun, Erin. <laughs> Don't tell me about the gold. It's addicting. Every little detail you're going to want to put it on. Working on organizing my craft area. And then it's your nine-year-old's birthday. Happy birthday. I want a childless and husbandless day just to do me. You might be watching. Just kidding. Lunch at daughter's, dinner at son's. That sounds amazing, Mary. My kids live in two different states than me. My boyfriend will take me for lunch, though. That's very nice. I got to see my son who lives out of state last weekend. Sunday, my husband is taking me out for seafood. Yes. Yes, Beth. Mother's Day is Sunday. Hi, Paige. My father used to tell my mother that he'd take her out to dinner, and he took her to the backyard. I love it. Husband's cooking, and the kids are coming over. Look at this color, you guys. You see that? This is like sexy. This is like how it's black velvet. Like, looks like a black velvet couch. Sorry. I keep on moving it out of frame. The first time we have all been together since Christmas. That's awesome, Tina. I'm so happy. Kathy, I just put my first coat on. We're going to do the same concept that we did in the candlesticks that I did on, um, a video but we're gonna do different colors and i thought it would be fun to do it live on this big old candlestick thank you erin my stepdaughter is doing a gender reveal for our grand first grandchild how exciting congratulations and congratulations to them too I'm going to cook breakfast for my mom. My dad passed away this year and I want to do something special. That's so sweet of you. I'm sorry for your dad's passing. It's so weird now when, you know, somebody loses somebody now since I've recently lost my brother. And that was the first time I've ever lost somebody close to me. That was, that's the first time. And now when you say i say like i'm sorry for your loss it just seems so i don't know irrelevant in the scheme of things you know like you wish you can say more but i guess that's the only thing you can say i don't know it's crazy or my my condolences i think somebody said to say instead So I want to get this dry and then we're going to go over, we're going to start our drip dropping. And I picked a couple colors because I'm going to layer some colors on top of each other. D-Dog, so this, I thrifted this for $8.99 at Savers, painted it in black velvet by DIY Paints. I do have this color in stock right now on my website. And then we are going to start our finish right when this dries up. I, I couldn't even imagine Debbie. For those of you that are on Facebook, Debbie said that she, Mother's Day is going to be hard because she lost her mom last week. I couldn't imagine losing my mom and I couldn't imagine having to go through that on Mother's Day. I'm so sorry. Oh, so many of you have lost your mamas. I'm so sorry, you guys. You guys are going to make me cry. Hey, Julie girl, how you doing? Hi, Bonnie. So, um, I could try doing, I have a piece of wood actually right here because, you know, I don't put anything away ever. <clears throat> Old school is going to be more of a gray. It's not going to be, have like the, um, I just used it today, actually. Where are you? Um, hold on, you guys. 
You know when you use something, I just used it. Where are you? Um, oh, it's right here. Old school definitely is more gray. For sure. People on Facebook are saying sorry for your guys' loss, you guys, just so you so you know. I wish you guys could see each other's comments. It drives me nuts. All right. I'm going to do old school, and then I will do black velvet. Oh, I already washed that brush. Dang it. Uh, hold your mom close, forget all this stupid crap, and just love her all you can. I'm just now realizing a year later that I'll never hear her voice again or smell her hair or when she hugs me. I'm sending you guys so many hugs. So many hugs. Hi, Cheryl. Shipping orders. I did that right before this. I was, I created some orders, had dinner, put the baby to sleep. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, now we gotta get another brush. Darn you, Paige. I'm just kidding. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Today popped up my first Mother's Day, and my brother was in all of the pictures. And oh, did that tear me up? Did it tear me up? We had such a special relationship. We were four years apart. So um, we got close when I turned 21. And then we like had an apartment by the beach together. It was just such a cool thing. And I'm so glad I got to do that with my brother. <clears throat> All right, let me dry this down real quick. And then I'll show you the difference between old school and black velvet. Hi, hi, hi. All right. Let's see. Yeah, old school is definitely more gray than the black velvet. All right, I have some watered down cups here that we're going to mix some paint into. I'm going to use, um, now I'm confused because I brought this over, gravel road, and we're going to use some white as well. Rhonda said, filling the large circle of love and support in this group. That is what this community is all about. Hi, Janice. Yes, the DIY brushes have been sparking amazing. Um, I've used all of them, I think, except the multitasker. And I think that's because the multitask, I just don't do projects that big. But um, there you go, Paige. Old school and black velvet. That's what old school looks like. So definitely more of a gray. My baby sister, lost my baby sister and it was definitely different than losing my parents. And that's what somebody else told me too. Like the loss is different. Uh, I still have a couch throw of my mother's and a huge zipper bag so I can just open it and smell her. 13 years later still makes me cry every time. Oh my God, you guys. Ugh. Tearing out a girl's heartstrings over here. All right, I think I got some globs that I need to address real quick. And then and then we can go forward. I mean, it's going to be a runny, like I said, drip droppy look. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But I think it does. So we'll just do it anyways. We just gave our grandson his daddy's ball cap. His dad died when he was nine months old. He smelled it and said, wow, my dad smelled like that sweaty skateboarder. That's so crazy. That's um, my sister-in-law. She's been very like giving with my brother's stuff. You know, she was like, if you want any of his flannels or his hats or his t-shirts, you know, so like I came home with some of his t-shirts and one of his flannels and, um, he is a very talented painter. If you go to on Instagram, Clary's custom colors, he, um, he did custom work for like motorcycles and cars. 
And she was even like, you could take one of his pieces and stuff like that. So she has been very generous with, you know, allowing us to like have his stuff, which I appreciate a lot. And I can't wait for her little ones to, you know, get to see the stuff. Okay. I need to, I need to stop talking about it. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get back on with this. Okay. So I'm going to use gravel road. Gravel road is like a I don't know, <laughs> even lighter gray. I don't know how this is going to look against it. I just have these thoughts in my mind, you guys. And I'm like, I'm just going to go with it. Yes, definitely. I feel like I need to mix it up a little bit more. I've had it for uh, a while and have not opened it. Grays aren't something I reach for very often. I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. Um. They were when I did farmhouse stuff a lot. All right. This is, that's gravel road. So super light gray. And you can see it like that's, this one's a letterpress. This one's gravel road. And this is letterpress. So you can see how light that one is. It's nice having the the paints right there. Now I'm going to mix this with some water. I'm just going to use an old fashioned chippy brush because you guys have, you guys have obviously seen how I take care of my paint brushes. So huh. needless to say, I love these. The candlestick is so gorgeous. The more I look at it, the prettier it gets. I need that sweatshirt. This is my paranormal channel. Oh, really? I will definitely like you do paranormal stuff, Beth, because I watch that stuff like oh the time on tv uh last night i was binge watching paranormal activity or something like that um yeah oh i put way too much water in here all right or did i mm, i think it needs more i will use <laughs> hold on you guys sorry I'm not by my usual workstation, so I have to keep on, like, leaving and grabbing stuff. Now, if I had all the time in the world, I probably would have added salt wash to this to give it even more depth and crusty goodness. But I knew I wasn't going to have time to dry it that thick. Did Beth ever say, where'd she go? I live in a haunted house in North Carolina. Oh my gosh, you guys, we need to go follow Beth's journey. That is so cool. Okay, all right, talk, talk and work, talk and work, talk and work. Good night, Tina. Yeah, that one, and then, uh, you know, the, the ghost, you know, the, the popular ghost guys, I don't know. All right, I'm hoping this is, I don't know if I put too much water in this, let's see. And almost, so you could see, you'll see it better as it travels down, you guys. I am just getting that watered down mixture. And I am letting it drip. And then I am going to like, see, I do not care if it's messy. You guys just have to trust the process. If you're somebody that likes things like nice and neat and clean, you got to let go. Put your hair down, put it in a messy bun. Just let go, let it happen, okay? Trust the process, because the first time I did this, I was scared, I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared. And I was like, oh my gosh, what did I just do to the candle? And then I just kept going with the flow and it turned out so beautiful and those candles sold right away. I mod a pair, Lady Poe, I mod in, uh, goodness. Are yours friendly or mean? I don't know. Sorry, I'm not able to. Oh, oh, Aaron was asking if the ghosts are friendly or mean. Kendra has her earbuds in. Jessie said she lives on what they call a haunted lake. I live at the end of a dead end road on the back of the lake right in the cove. We hear and see some crazy stuff all the time. Beth said they're mostly friendly. Thank you, Shelly. I made it myself. 
Oh, that is so cool. I'm totally going to your channel because that is definitely something I would watch for sure. So you guys can see it's just messy. It's drip a dropping. Trust the process. So you guys see that? Like just taking that water. I brought a white too. Just like a, just to give it a brighter kick, I guess you can say. I'm going to come over here. You guys have already seen it, so. I'm concentrating, concentrating on the trips. But I'm like, I feel like I'm missing this whole ghost awesome story. Oh, hi, Aaron. I don't know if an Aaron came in. I don't know. Yes, Kathy, I did the Bohemian Blue one. So that's why I'm kind of like, I thought it would be fun to do this candle in the same concept because of how large it is. I thought it could be really cool. So we're going to do this and we're not done because then we're going to get any, oh, you know what I, I didn't do though, you guys, that I'm messing up on is I usually do it in sections. Cause I don't want the paint necessarily like sitting there. Well, at this point I've already, I've already about done the whole candle. So usually I would do it in sections and then I spritz it with water, dab the excess off and then go from there. But I didn't do that, but that's okay because the paint is water soluble. So we'll be fine. Okay. So we got some good drippy drops there. A few days ago, I was in my craft room painting and it started to rain and there, and there with, I, and there with it sunny out and no water in the ceiling. Wow. I could like read ghost stories all day, you guys. All right. So I'm going to get a paper towel and then I'll, I'm going to start from the top. And you do this as heavy or as light as you want. And just going to cause it to like start dripping down. And then I'm going to pat off the excess. Yeah, see, I think I made that one a little too watery. I pre-filled my, um, my things. Because you don't, I don't see, maybe when it dries down, because I'm like, I don't see a lot of the color sticking to it. So that probably means that it was too watery. So that's okay, because I wanted to go in with a white as well to really make the color pop. So I'm just trying to get in those little divots where the water is just like collecting over here. I'm just going to pat that down. What's everybody saying? Some have to find something ornate to do this on. Yes. It looks so good with things with detail. I'm like, don't go through to my butcher block, please. So, and you can, if you like the look, you could have it setting in there. It just will take longer dry time. That's all. So again, I'm not wiping it. I'm just patting it. And then I'm going to get, because we're going to put another layer. This time I'm going to go in with my paint first in my little container and then add some water that because I want it to I want that white to be pretty vibrant but I do want to dry this down before I do that and this should dry down to a lighter gray and sorry you guys if I'm not catching comments but I'm pretty sure 
you guys are conversing with each other. I would leave the drips in there. It just, I wouldn't be able to finish this project because then I couldn't, it wouldn't dry. And it's so pretty because that original like orangish color is starting to come out. Oh, see, here we go. Let me, oh, my heat gun does it. There we go. It's showing that you'll see it, how this gravel road dries down. What a difference. Okay. I don't even know if I want to add the white. Ooh, that's pretty. And you can see the places it didn't catch. Are you guys able to see the color transforming yet? Sammy, what are your plans for Mother's Day? John, have a special plan? Not that I know of. I haven't heard anything, so I don't know. Everly has a school project she needs to finish, though, and her friend is supposed to come over on Sunday, so, and I probably need to work. That'll be my Mother's Day, because since we're leaving, I need to get things filmed. Yeah, definitely a big difference already. This gravel road is really pretty. Yeah. And let me, I might want to touch the top, so I'm going to dry that down real quick. Now I don't I'm like I don't know if I want to add white now because I didn't realize how light this gravel road. Do you see that you guys? Sorry. I unplugged it. Do you see how light that dried down? How crazy? And then you can see all of the places that the drips and the gravel road did not catch because it's like you can see the darker see that you can see the dark the black velvet in places and that's what we want we want it to look like worn and it's chipped throughout time a couple layers of paint have come off kind of you know all of that stuff some crap different day yeah unfortunately that's what us moms usually get on our special day uh hey jackie girl I know, Caitlin, they're going to be restocked. We're hoping mon next Monday. Uh, Mary, so this heat gun is different. So, like, I just do it because of the heat gun itself. I have, but then it gets louder. This is the multi-temp one. So, I can do heat. Um, DIY paints actually do really well with heat. It's not like Waverly. Waverly will crack so bad with heat. The DIY paints don't. And of course, if you get like super on it, it'll crackle. But um, I always dry mine with high heat and never have issues with it. So I like that. I like it a lot. I might have to dab off some of this, the drips that settled in. Now, if you had time and you could leave this overnight, the stuff like... Um, that's sitting, seeing those like crevices, those will look so good once they're thoroughly dry. They'll look so like this. Look at this side, you guys. See how different it looks where all that paint did not get. Oh, you guys, I love chippy stuff. Yes, I do. I love chippy stuff. How about you? So glad you guys are here. And that you guys don't mind my quirkiness. It almost looks like a melted candle. Uh, she's crafty creations. What is what used for? Yes. Somebody said it's like something you would see in Adam's family. Thank you, Caitlin. I appreciate that. We're working our 
our booties off to make sure everybody gets their paint like super fast. And I feel fortunate that it's selling as well. Hopefully, hopefully it keeps selling that well. I'm lucky that I have an amazing community that supports me and, you know, because there's a million places y'all could buy the paint from. I mean, it's out there. Like, tons of people sell it, and you guys can choose to order it with anybody you want, and you guys choose to order it for me, so I'm very lucky. Tiffany, thank you so much for the stars, girly. And if you're on Facebook, if you guys can share, I'd appreciate it. Rhonda, I will. Your corks are one of the main reasons that I love you. Thank you. Oh, Lisa said, that's what I thought it was, that a candle dripped down on it. I got here late. I don't know where Erin is, huh? Usually she's on the lives. All right, I'm going to... These are not going to dry for me if I don't get that excess out. What do you guys think? Should we add the white or do we think that this is actually lightened up? Enough. So my idea, I guess, before I ask that question, is I was going to do the gravel road. Then I was going to do some white to kind of um, make the white pop and then go in with some shipwrecked. And shipwrecked is that teal wax because we still see some of that like orange poking through. So I think it could look really good just in certain spots, kind of sporadic, you know. Trying to dry our drips. All right. I need this. So bold. Looks like weathered concrete to me. The white will make it more dramatic and make the shipwreck color pop. That's what I think too. I mean, why not? We've already gone this far, right? I wish I knew how to ship everything, you guys, because then I would post this for sale on the website, but I wouldn't, I have no idea how I would ship something this big without breaking, you know? Yes, I'm late to the party or wasn't listening. You're going to use shipwreck? Yes. I just said that. I didn't tell anybody beforehand that I was going to um, bring shipwreck to the party, but shipwreck is here, baby. You know it's going to be a wild night when shipwreck comes out, okay? Come on. All right. I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to do, so I did grab tarnished pearl. But Tarnished Pearl, again, has like that gray undertone. So I'm going to grab White Swan so I get that really bold, stark white. Okay, so I can set that to the side. Oh, here's my water cup. You go, Sammy. And then yeah, I'm going to pour some of that. That's a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Remember glitter star before you decide. Yeah. I need to take that off. I really wanted a wood star stained and put on there. And then all I could find was the glitter star. And I was like, oh, this will go with the brass. I knew right away. I knew right away your girl was tripping. All right. I'm adding a lot of white to this one. Forgot to look in the craft cottage when I got home to see. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that open. I got another chippy brush. I'm going to do this one in sections. Although, the other one didn't come out bad. 
So I am just mixing the white swan with water. That's all this is right here. And I don't think it's watery enough this time. But that is what your spray bottle is for too. I'm going to put it in some of those places that didn't quite get covered last time. And then we will go over this with the spray bottle again. <laughs> I love watching the drippiness, you guys. I'm going to try to do this without actually looking. So you can see how that drips. Yeah. Gets me so excited. Again, I'm trying to get more in those spots that didn't catch the gravel road last time. Like right there. It's all right if we get a little messy. It's okay. I think the only time you'll see me wear gloves when I'm painting is if I'm staining because that that stuff feels gross on your skin. I zoned out for a moment. Is this the same color again or different? This is a different color. This is um, white swan. I wanted something a little bit more stark white. So I'm going to spritz this down. I got it on all sides. I didn't want anything. I didn't, didn't need it crazy. I just wanted it... Um, I want some bright moments in there. It needs its moments, you know? <laughs> I tried a base like this the other day and it looked like the bird poop on my driveway. I gave it up. It was a long day. We'll try. And you know what's nice? If you don't seal any of this, you can literally, if it's an object that can soak in the water, put it in warm water and your paint will come off. Thank you. She said it is a fun technique. It is. And it's just like a fun way to be creative, you know? <laughs> you guys hear the water bottle. So sad. This water bottle is sad. Do you see how cool that looks, you guys? What? I think that might be a little too much white there for me. And I'm just following it around. And again, if you like decide, oh my gosh, that is too much white on here or it looks blotchy some places, add more water to it. You can keep playing with it. Like if you're like, oh, that looks too drippy, more water. Like right here. I feel like kind of looks weird. drippiness right there a lot of white over here but that's okay it's supposed to look it's not supposed to be uniform here all right bottle sounds like a cat that's subtle meow is madonna on hey madonna where you been girl all right and then we go with our blotting blot as much off as you want and remember, it's going to dry down. We saw what happened with that gravel road. So, oh, I love this one, how it left like actual drip marks. Just makes me feel like it's been in a house that's like run down and the ceilings have crumbled. And this was like on somebody's fireplace and over time. It got weathered and corroded. That's the story I'm sticking to, okay? If you guys didn't know, you come here for stories too, okay? Did you guys like my story? So detailed, I know. Ooh, there's a lot right here. This would have been a hot mess if I would not have shellacked this. I probably would have seen a lot of oil come through. Hi, Susan. 
Hello, hello. Thanks for joining. If you're on Facebook, if you can share the love, I'd appreciate it. I need to stop singing everything. I know you guys didn't come here to hear my beautiful voice. It's like a mix between a unicorn and Fergie, you know? All right, I'm gonna start drying it and see what this, uh, what this comes up with here after adding that white. You are a good storyteller. Uh, I, really, I don't want to mess up my sweet thrift store leggings, so I need to stop touching them with my paint hands. All right, now I can read some comments. Elizabeth, yes, try it. I don't know. I mean, I feel like the more detail you have on a piece when doing this, it's going to look better. Hmm. I'm like, did I have enough light on there? Just got to let it dry down. Trust the process. Trust the process. That's what I say with the salt wash, too. <laughs> Denise says, this has been a very interesting night. I think most nights with me are interesting, Denise. I'm all about crafting and having fun. Hanging out with you guys is always fun. page. I'm sure that Lori probably went to bed. I know she said she hasn't been feeling well. Hmm. So I do see that it's brighter in sections for sure. Ooh, I love the drippy marks over here. And then after this one, I'll do a clear wax and then the teal wax. Hi, Kim. How are you? Madonna, I shipped that out a few days ago. So you will be getting that soon. Thank you for the stars, Erin. Thank you, thank you. That's great, Alias. Nothing better than a healthy review when you're pregnant. Montgomery was a scary one starting off, but she made it. Oh, wait, my. I am good. I'm loving the way this is turning out. No worries on being late. I just need to dry this baby down so we can wax it and move forward with the shipwreck. But that just means I get to talk to you guys. Hi, Edie. How are you? This thing keeps falling out of the bug. I need an extension cord. Thank you, Kathy. My God, she's such a good girl. She is. She hangs in there for me, like when we're out and about and going to thrift stores and stuff like that. She's so good. Now, just a reminder why I said we're going to clear this with the clear wax and then go in with the shipwreck, because if I were to put the shipwreck on, then I only had one of two options, not clear the rest of the candlestick, and then it could potentially get messed up, or... Um, I would have to put clear over that shipwreck and that would move your shipwreck around, which you don't want. Because if you're putting it in particular places, you don't want that to move around. You want it where you have it. So you want to clear your entire piece first so that you make sure you're protecting your paint 
and then you're going to go forward with adding your color colored wax i should say i am doing well edie sammy i didn't forget about the dog sitter coupon referral no worries my we already booked it we had to book it we're leaving next week so um thank you though Trying to blot out some of the water here. Pia is from Florida. Welcome, Pia. Denise said so many rules. I mean, y'all can do what you want. I just want you to have a piece that turns out great, that's all. And that's gonna last you years by doing it the right way, you know? Kim said, I love watching you create things. I embroidered quilts and do the diamond paintings. That's, I've never done a diamond painting. I don't know if I would have the patience to sit there and do it. Jackie asked how my mom's doing. My mom is doing well. Her and my dad actually went to this place called Mountain Lakes in California. They have um, an RV, so they needed to get away. So they decided they would just take the RV up there with their dog and See if they can relax and take their mind off things and then my sister-in-law is going to take the kids <clears throat> up there on mother's day to hang out and stuff but yeah it was so crazy having help because we do everything by ourselves john and i and we don't have like you know family to like drop off to help babysit or anything like that or just having the company of like your mom and your dad you know which uh i would love having you know, your mom rub your hair or those fun mom things. Um, so I miss her a lot. I miss my dad too. Oh, Denise said, that's not what I mean. Sorry, Denise. It's hard following along in the chat when I have to keep looking away. Mary said, I shake too much for diamond paintings. I wish there was less drying, but I mean, we can't help it, right? It's a part of the process. I just know that I cannot wax this if I got wet spots, because that'd be gross. I finally got myself the big one okay uh, that you guys this little one lasted me over a year and a half and then now since i use like the paint all the time um i was like man get a big can you deserve a big can Uh, Erin said, we had a paint by numbers painting at our wedding reception. It was my profile picture, actually. It didn't get completed, so I need to finish it. Use shellac to keep tannins in the wood from bleeding to get paint to stick to shiny surfaces. That's what I used on this piece, Kathy. Oh, that is so cool. Edie said that you got to meet Karen from, I don't know how to pronounce it, Edie. Um, but she's on Facebook and she actually is one of like the main go-to people for DIY paints. Like I just emailed her today about my shipment. That is so cool. And she's very talented crafter. She's on Facebook as well as YouTube, I believe. Oh, Jackie, I would love it. Redo. Okay. It's only redo. Uh... It's called Redo, but it's spelled R-E-D-O-U-X. All right, come on. It's that little bit of like water that's sitting in the details that I need to make sure are dry. 
I think that's pretty good. I don't think I have any water here. Got water sitting in here though. The, do you let the clear wax dry completely? No. No, I do not. So I'll apply the clear wax and immediately do the shipwreck. And especially if you are going to use like a dark wax or this and you want to wipe it back, you always want to put your clear wax on. And while the clear wax is wet, you want to wipe it back. It's going to be a lot more easy to easier to move your wax that way. Because if I were to just go in and put shipwreck on there, the paint is going to like soak that stuff up. And when I try to wipe it back, it's not going to do anything. It's going to be stark and it's going to stick where you put it. So I guess it depends on the look too, because maybe, maybe you're going for that. I'm glad you guys enjoyed chatting with each other and me while we spend all of this time drying a piece. I do, so, do I have wax one? No, don't have wax one. I have vintage linen though, and that's my new white obsession that I've been using on everything. I can't wait to look at Beth's page. Come on, man. Can we just, that wasn't me. That was the ghost. I'm just kidding. That was just the plug. Oh my gosh, my eyes. I'm looking at a screen and stuff. Oh, oh that fell. Let's close our paint. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Just trying to make sure. I don't have any globs of paint because if I go in with that clear wax with that brush and start rubbing it on here, it's just going to smear my paint and I don't want my paint to smear. I want it where I put it. I'm just getting in those nooks and crannies. My eyes are so blurry right now. Hmm. We ain't messing this up, all right? We spent way too much time already to let the... What just dropped? Was that stuck to my butt? It was a popsicle stick. All right. I think we're okay. So, all right. We got our... Let's get our dishes. Let's kind of organize here. I know I'm going to need my clear wax. Hi, Connie. Yes, we're, we're going. So you guys, Connie, the painted photographer is the one I told you that I got this um, concept from. And I don't know if there's a name to it, but I call it the drip droppy technique. <laughs> Those things. It's like trying to open a kid's toy, how they make them like child's proof and parent proof. All right. I still have some in here. My husband didn't like the spindle firecrackers. He said they were supposed to be smooth and round. I already told you he has no taste. Uh, I love doing this technique too, Connie. It's my favorite. It just gives the right amount of weathered awesomeness. All right, we're going to use, I'm going to use as much of this clear wax in here. I'm actually, I think, just going to scoop from the big, the big boy and put it in this because I like that this has a twist off container and I don't have to like pop it open every time I want to use it. So, all right. Tiffany said she's seen Jamie Ray Vintage do it too. I'm sure she does a bunch of different paint techniques. 
Connie is just where I saw it done yeah. from. All right. Again, don't know why I always start from the bottom and work my way up. Do you guys do that? Do you guys have like, oh, do you see that? It lightens back up. Don't, but do you see how that white sticks out? Let me see. Get back in there. Goodness, man. Stuff like this gets me so excited. Like when you see a vision start coming together or to life, you know, or it just starts working out. You're like, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, so great. There's probably water right there. That's why it's so juicy looking. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look at that versus that. Isn't that crazy? Would love to see this technique done with where are you? I would love to see this technique done with a rainbow of colors. All right. Challenge accepted, Jenny. We will do that. We got tons of colors from DIY to make it. So challenge accepted. Not on tonight's video, but we will definitely do it. I just need to find, you know, you remember that candlestick that broke on my last haul? We can put that one back together and we can use that one because it has a lot of detail and that could be fun. No rhyme or reason how I put the clear wax on. You can do circular motions, you can wipe it on. I'm kind of doing circular motions and getting up in those details. I don't know really where I want to put my clear wax or my um shipwreck yet oh no oh no did i get every side no you did not uh, let me see sorry you guys i have to look down and think of be usually it would be up uh, oh Sorry, Jackie, you had to get those. Um, oh my goodness, so many back issues. I need to stop complaining about my back. All right. I can't wait to put shipwreck on here. I did a similar technique, but added a lot more stuff in Saturday's video. I added salt wash pennies from heaven oh my gosh you guys it looks so gorgeous so make sure you tune into that video because i flipped things that you guys didn't want to buy from my website so we got to make money on them somehow so i figured you know what let's flip them and then see if we can sell them then And getting all these details takes some time. Okay. Do, do, do. Sammy, I was thinking the same. My back is all messed up. <laughs> Tiffany said she recently subscribed to Painted Photographer. She does have amazing stuff. I love watching her use of things you wouldn't think to use. And I say that like... Um, she did a Christmas video this past year and she used, she doesn't waste anything. And she used the clay that forms at the top of your lid. And she like dug it out with her finger and she pressed it like on the sides of a frame uh, to create like a texture, almost like a salt wash. But she used the clay because she's like, I'm not going to waste that. And I was like, that is so cool. Like, I just wouldn't have thought to use something like that in that way, you know? Uh, Lisa said, if you figure out how to ship that, I would seriously love to have it. I have dark and black furniture in my house and that candlestick is so my taste. Oh, thank you. 
it always literally makes my heart so happy when somebody buys something that like I upcycle makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Terry, I don't believe, I don't know. You know, I'll have to ask that. Terry said, um, if say six months from a year goes by and you wanted to change the color, could the wax be removed? And I don't know. I don't know. Cause it's like, I know the paint is water soluble, but I don't know how like it would react to water being on it. I don't know. I will have to find that out. Fran, that, you know what, Crystal, which is um, a manager at the booth, and oh my gosh, that girl is so talented. She does these amazing booth setups, and uh, her and um, one of the gals, Michelle. But anyways, she was asking if I was going to put it in the booth, and I had said, I don't know yet. Just because it's, I would have to spend more money to get the inventory to put in there, and then to take the chance on it sitting in there, you know? I don't know. I was thinking maybe just like a couple, maybe like standard colors, like whites, grays, you know, things that, that people maybe are more likely to buy are like the sellout colors, like apothecary, you know, and some brushes. Uh, Aaron said mineral spirits would remove it probably like the paint and stuff. Okay. I think I got all of it. And you obviously would know after seeing this, if you missed a spot with your clear wax, because it's going to be totally lighter than the rest of the piece. But if you guys had cleared this with, let's say, Big Top, it would dry down just a tad bit lighter, but you would get this, this darkness. This will eventually um, start drying back down to a lighter color. So it's not going to stay this dark. So keep that in mind, but we're done with the clear wax and you guys, sorry, while we're here, I'm going to get my, I need a stronger, I want to fill this up. I don't want to use it out of the thing because I don't want to have to take the metal lid on and off, on and off. So I rather just refill, especially too, because you don't like dip inside of the container. So we're just going to fill you up. I fill you up. So look up. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. All right. That's good. Yeah. Like that better. Like that. All right. Shipwrecked. Here we go. Kathy, I know. I need to watch more videos on how to ship items. I mean, I'm, I ship a lot of glass and I've only, thankfully only had one thing break since I've started the website and I don't, so I think it's maybe possible. I don't know. I don't think I, this thing's solid. Like I said, this, this baby weighs 10 pounds. Okay. 10 barking pounds. Does, um, Uh, friends had start small and see if it's worth a try. Yes. Does the clear wax work the same when it's used on other paints besides DIY wax? I only have the DIY wax at this point, so we'll be using it in other paints. Yes, it, it'll work just as well. I'm <laughs> just waiting for you to fling that up in the air with the plastic spatula. You are always better off than most. My cup stays full. Yes. Hi, Leanne. Or wait, I was reading somebody's comment. Could do a small vignette featuring a color and have the paint as part of the display. That way people can coordinate. You are so good, Jenny. You should get a booth, girl. That is a great idea. Hanky, everybody wants to say hi. Come here. Come on. Come on. Were you just outside with daddy? Oh. Let's see. Oh, no. Your ear hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're dirty. 
Oh, you. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. You butthead. <sighs> he has mud all over him. All right, hold on. All right. Now we're going to get into our ship. Right. So I just have this little stencil brush thing from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just wipe some of the excess off. I just used this today, so, or yesterday, I should say. I wish I was the type of person that is going to say, you know what, I'm going to clean all of this up right after I'm done with this live. But the reality of that happening is very slim to none, okay? If you guys could press the like button or the heart button, I'd really appreciate it. We got 112. I wish I could tell you how many is on Facebook versus YouTube, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I appreciate anybody that's on here. Thank you. <laughs> you leave Hank alone. He does love me, but he's so dirty. Okay. So we got our beautiful shipwrecked right here. Mm, it's so beautiful. And this is all going to be about if you want to wipe it back or not really. I mean, it's all up to you. This is going to be hard doing it this way because I cannot see where I want it, but I want you guys to be able to see. So I'm going to come over here for a second because I kind of just have to like see what pieces I want it to kind of go on, you know? Because I don't want it everywhere. And this is where, because I have that clear wax, I can just wipe it back and you can leave it this bright if you want. If that's your jam, then, then leave it that way. But that is not what I am going for. I want it a little bit more dulled and to kind of go more into those darker colors. And it's okay if some of it, for me, like pops a little bit in the creases. But for the most part, I do not want it that bright. So you can see how I wiped majority of that back. Can you see that? So it's just subtle. I did not want it like crazy bright. It looks a lot brighter in person than it does on this screen. So the microfiber cloth I've been finding is um, working very well. For me instead of like the paper towel I definitely want to and it's all just about putting it in different spots like yeah that looks good put it like in the spot where a lot of that darkness is right there. And then I will wipe. Again, that excess off. And if you didn't want to wipe it off, you could just go in with like a super, super light hand of the brush and it will just kind of look like a cloudy film of like the teal. So, um, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you guys saw that. Now I need to put some up here.
So this is a very, very fun wax. Very fun wax. Now, are you guys somebody that like has to um, have matching candlesticks? Are you okay with having one candlestick? You know, because I know some people, wait a minute, Sammy is digesting the pigeon poop. <laughs> um, are you good with one candlestick? Are you like, nope, couldn't do it. It has to be a pair. Get back on there. Hey, let's not waste that. Me. Sorry, I can't read. Everything's moving so fast. Hmm. Like it's always easier when you can like look at it. Maybe just a little film right there. I don't know what Hank is up to, but it almost sounds like he's gonna get in trouble. And then if you ever feel like, oh my gosh, I put way too much of that tail wax on there, then all you got to do is get your clear wax and you just put it on top of that and then buff it out and it'll start lightening back up again. Um, thank you, Erin. I might have to do multiple variations of candlesticks just so I can get a chance to upsurf them. My husband keeps stealing my finds. Um, I know the feeling could turn that into a lamp. Ooh, yes. John today, he saw the hall and, you know, the eagle he got at the flea market. It's like, did you list that? And I'm like, no, I didn't list it. You wanted it. So I'm not going to list it. And then I go, remember that time when you told me, like, you should at least try listing the stuff and then you can consider keeping it? <laughs> I was like, I show you things and you're like, oh, we're keeping that. That looks so cool and different. Lynn said, I like to have groups three or five that are different but complementary. I like that too. Oh, Beth said that she would make a bird bath out of it. We're getting there. Ugh. I think I love this side the best over here because it has like a lot of dripping marks on it. And I'm feeling that. So feeling that. If you're just joining and you're like, hey, can you put that back in the screen? <laughs> there we go. Let's put some more right there. Remember, you got to let go of the control when doing something like this. You just have to kind of trust the process. I will say, when I first started crafting and I was doing all this farmhouse stuff, I never even had farmhouse in my house, I don't ever think. Um, and I would try to distress things. It looked like a dang Dalmatian, let me tell you. I did not know what the heck I was doing. You just got to keep on practicing. That's all I can say because now it's so much better. Could add a wood round to the top. Yep. Okay. I don't want that to sit very long. Oh, this looks so beautiful. 
I wish I had somewhere to put it. Like, look at all the drippiness. Yes. I love it. I put a pretty plate on top, make a vignette and a top and top it with a cloche. Oh, that would look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it from here. I never know where the camera, can you guys see? Eh, eh. I don't know where I'm pointing the camera. See how the um, the original color is like poking through as well? So you have all these different elements. You have the black velvet, and then once the wax lightens back up, you're going to see that gravel road, the white, the turquoise, and then you have this like bronze that's coming out of it as well. I've seen that, Erin. The Dixie Bell um, patina. I have seen that. But girl, I don't need that because I could do it myself right here, you know? It does look really cool, though. I will give it that. It looks really cool. I should probably at the booth. Eh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you know, we all have dreams. And then um, we're like, hey, uh, you can't even like clean your own house, but you want to like do more stuff. <laughs> That's how I always am. Because I'm like, oh, it'd be so much fun to do like a um, paint techniques like class or something at the booth because they have like space for it. <laughs> and I'm like, Sammy, you don't even have time to make your bed let alone add something else to your plate. I like that. If you put a plate on top, put like a piece of felt. I ain't doing nothing. Not I. I love it the way it is. And I'm somebody that I would totally be down for like this candle, an LED light and then some more like patina pieces and some greenery and stuff kind of like sitting on like the corner of like a fireplace. Um, or if you have like, you know, a grand entry with a foyer or something like that, this would be so pretty on one of those like entryway tables all styled up with like a, imagine like that bronzy mirror like that. Mm, ah. Gorgeous. All right, let's wait that back. Oh, that's a brown one. Oh, I love, love, love this. It turned out so pretty. This I'm just kind of like dusting right there. All right, I think I feel like this needs to be like buffed in right there. All right, you guys. No, nope, hold on. You know, you always look at it afterwards and then you're like, no, was it this way? No, maybe it was right here. Right. And this is where you got to tell yourself, uh, stop, just stop. Don't do it anymore. All right, you guys, that's it. Here is our beautiful piece. Huh. There it is. I wonder, let's, let's hold on. I'm going to take you guys to the, um, the ring light so we can really look at the colors. Okay. Well, where's the camera? I don't even know if this is like a good shot. <sighs> Do you guys see 
Is that better? I did keep the metal rusted box page. <laughs> I like never know where the actual, this thing is heavy. I'm like over here <laughs> working hard, working hard to get this thing. Oh, do you see that? Like my whole table moves, you guys. That's how big this thing is. Oh, I'm so proud of it. It looks so pretty. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the drippy drop technique with the addition of the shipwreck. So this was, if you guys watched the first video, how I, I wanted in my mind, I envisioned the shipwreck on it, but then I realized how blue tealish the bohemian blue was. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to look good. And I wasn't willing to chance it. So I played it safe and just cleared it afterwards instead of going with the shipwreck. So I knew I wanted to try the shipwrecks on it this time. So that was awesome. Let me just go. There we go. Now I could see you guys. Oh, you've made yourself such a gorgeous Mother's Day present, right, Lola? Too bad Montgomery is on the move though. So we cannot have anything like this out. And we don't have like an entryway or anywhere to put it up. So I will have to put this in my booth when we redo it, I guess. So I can't wait to redo it. I'm going to have Brie come and help me though, because I, for whatever reason, cannot comprehend staging a booth. I can stage photos. I can decorate my own home very well, but something about being in a box with like a lot of stuff. I don't know why I can't wrap my head around it and, and do something with it. Beautiful piece, uh, beautiful piece, Sammy, and you're making it even more so. This will be our first Mother's Day without mom, but she was 93 and had a wonderful life. That is amazing. I hope my mom and dad get to live that long. You're not giving Montgomery the cast iron chicken? Nah, she already has her mouth on everything else. Brie is amazing at staging. So I was like, girl, will you please come down and help me? Um, we are going for my brother Madonna next week. Next week. Very overwhelming because I feel like I just got back and then my mom just left. So I feel like I was starting to get into the swing of things again. And then now um, we're, we're like doing it all over. No, I'm so I decided to keep the booth, but I'm downsizing. So instead of a 10 by 16, we're doing an eight by 10. And I think that will be a lot more manageable for me and just kind of like honing in on what we're putting in there. Cause when I first started the booth, I was putting like my dollar tree stuff in there. And needless to say that like did not sell. Um, and I, I shouldn't say needless to say, I apologize for saying that just, it wasn't quality stuff and it wasn't something somebody was going to buy and it was going to last them years, you know? And, um, so it was kind of like slow running and then, um, I got pregnant and all that stuff. So I think a smaller booth would just be a lot more manageable. And if we stick to one kind of concept, which is junk, you know, putting the thrift store stuff in there. Um, if some of my upcycles kind of go with the flow, then putting them in there. But luckily I've been having luck selling them on the website. So, um, we want to try and stick with just junk. Um, did you figure out what the rooster is? I believe it's a paperweight. That's the only actual closest photo I got. And then somebody else in the comments on Facebook posted that they had like a little cream colored one. And they said it was a paper paperweight too. Will you be on at all after the memorial service? No, I'm not, I ain't taking any breaks, girl. Work is what keeps me, keeps me going. So I'll probably actually, like, I'm still planning on, like, going live and I'm trying to film content um, to post while I'm gone. <sighs> Happy Mother's Day, Bonnie. Yeah, and we got, uh, the booth that we were in was super dark. 
like the lighting was out. They finally got it fixed. And then like, we've had to run an extension cord from like boost down to get light in there. And then there was like this weird metal pole in there. So um, we definitely are, we're moving to a different booth and it's a lot brighter and airier. So it'll be cool. Thank you, Paige. Don said it was a paperweight too. Tina did as well. Thank you, Madonna. I appreciate the support. Will, will the place you have your booth let you sell the DIY paints too? Yes. She actually asked me if I was going to sell it. And I said, I didn't know yet because that's more money I got to put into it. So we will see. I might start off sm small. You're going live while you're in California. Probably, Lola. If we stop at thrift stores and things like that. Thank you, Shelly. I made this, yeah, during Halloween, I think. Or maybe at the last house. I don't remember. We'll definitely do a live one night or one day outside and do the cowhide um, bleach shirt. This one, I just bleached um, the sand colored shirt and then sublimated my design on there. All right, you guys, I am going to get out of here. Have you thought of doing some furniture pieces? Yes. I was talking about flipping an antique that I have in there now that hasn't sold. So I'm definitely going to do that. And you guys, I still have to redo that. Remember the big fireplace that I got for $30? We got to do that as well. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing amazing weekend. I hope all of you guys celebrating Mother's Day, enjoy your day, enjoy your family, hold them tight, hold them close. I appreciate all of you being here. It means the world to me. If you guys are on Facebook and regulars on Facebook, if you can watch my lives in the background, even my past lives count. It'll count towards the hours or minutes for hopefully getting monetized during my lives. So any of that helps while you're asleep, cleaning, crafting, whatever, any of the lives on my Facebook would be amazing. So you guys, paints will be back in stock, hopefully Monday night. But remember, I will not be shipping them for at least a week because I'll be in California. But when we get back, we'll start boxing everything up and then sending it out. And I'm getting restocked on everything and even um, carrying some other products like I'll be doing. Um, I got the white in the Salvation Solution. I also got all of the colors of the Cottage Colors, um, which is a um, has a top coat built into it. Those are the Jamie Ray Vintage Colors. And I feel like there's something else I got that I didn't get last time. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. And then every, all the colors are going to be restocked, of course. So I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on Saturday for a video. And then Sunday, uh, we might go live again. All right. I appreciate you all. Bye.